Hallo studenten, welkom terug voor een nieuwe video. Hoe kijk je naar deze video? Zit je te kijken? Sta je te kijken? Lig je te kijken? Hang je te kijken? Today we're going to talk about positions. Dutch is a very descriptive language. We like to be specific about the where, the when, the what, but in this case also about the how. When we talk about an action or a location, often the word is just isn't enough. The money is in the wallet. No, not in Dutch. Het geld zit in the portemonnee. Yes, the money sits in the wallet. We use zit for things that fit snugly into something else. So, waar zijn je sleutels? Mijn sleutels zitten in mijn zak. Waar is je boek? Mijn boek zit in mijn tas. So don't say mijn boek is in mijn tas, mijn sleutels zijn in mijn zak. No, you have to use the verb zitten, to sit. Now when things are horizontally placed, they don't sit, they lie, ze liggen. Waar is je boek? Mijn boek ligt op tafel. Waar is je telefoon? Oh nee, die ligt nog op school. So that makes the next step maybe pretty logical, but things that are not horizontally placed, but vertically placed, or that we at least experience as, as vertical objects, they don't sit, they don't lie, they stand. Ze staan. Waar zijn je schoenen? Mijn schoenen staan bij de deur. Waar is de lamp? De lamp staat in de kamer. Now the lamp is also in the room, so why do I not use sit? Like I said, mijn boek zit in mijn tas. So why does the lamp stand in the room? It's because it doesn't fit snugly into the room. There's a lot of space around it. So for me, it doesn't feel like it's inside of something so much as it's standing by itself. Another thing that always stands in Dutch is text. So if someone tells you, sorry, dat staat niet op het menu, they're not apologizing for something not standing on the menu. They're apologizing for a dish or drink not being included in the menu. And of course, text is not always on paper. It can be digital as well. Alle informatie staat in de e-mail. All the information is in the e-mail. And then, of course, we have the verb hangen, to hang. What hangs? The lamp hangt aan het plafond. Het schilderij hangt aan de muur. Okay, so far for stuff, now how about people? We also like to be descriptive about people and how they are doing things. In what physical position are they while they're doing it? By adding the word te and the verb, we can be very clear about what somebody is doing and how. Mijn broertje zit te lezen. De studenten staan te praten. Batman hangt te slapen. Mijn vriendin ligt een film te kijken. De meisjes lopen een broodje te eten. The girls are walking and eating. Now, is it always very important to know that my girlfriend is lying down and watching a movie? Maybe it's not very important, but it's maybe just a cultural thing. We like to be very clear and descriptive about these kinds of things. One last thing, uh, the last sentence I read was the meisjes lopen een broodje te eten. They're walking and eating. When we want to complain about people, we also use this construction. They're walking and doing something. So for example, if I say, ze loopt altijd te zeuren. So literally, I'm saying here, she's always walking and whining. It doesn't necessarily mean she's walking while she's whining. This is just the way that we say this. Hij loopt altijd hard te schreeuwen. He's always shouting. So now for a quick test, what verb would you use here? De lamp aan het plafond. De lamp hangt aan het plafond. Het brood in de vriezer. Het brood ligt in de vriezer. Mijn telefoon in mijn rugzak. Mijn telefoon zit in mijn rugzak. De plant in het raam. De plant staat in het raam. De jongen te lezen. De jongen zit te lezen. Mijn vriend te roken. Mijn vriend staat te roken. De studenten te lezen. De studenten ligt te lezen. Ze te praten. Ze lopen te praten. Okay, how was that? Did you get all the answers right? I hope this video was of some help. Now go out there and do your Dutch thing. I will see you here for the next video. Doei!